5.30 a.m. 4 a.m. She woke us up at 4 a.m. today, but she's not well. Nori has a tummy upset. Oh, look at that little tail. <laughs> she wants to give me some kisses. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Sorry, guys. Nori, the co vlogger, is out of commission today. Just enjoying some scratches. Aww. Oh no, you'll be fine soon. Soon you'll be fine, baby. And when I say soon, she'll be fine um, by evening. And ready to rage. So let's get on with our day. Vishal is here today. Vishal, do you want to say hi? You want to say hi? <laughs> oh, that's the most we're getting from Vishal. So let's go and talk about. Let me prop you guys up so you can see me clearly. Hi. Hi guys. Now I can relax, drink my coffee and chat about podcasting. So for those of you who are here for the first time, I'm Nishka, co-host of a podcast called Race the Brow and welcome. And for those of you, those of you who have been here before, do subscribe and do like this video if you do like it and drop a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. I'd love to chat. And uh, I'm also sometimes pretty bored during the week, so it would be fun to chat and have a conversation. So let's get into talking about podcasting. And today we're gonna talk about how to be a awesome podcast host. I don't know why I did that. Um, let me look for my notebook. Damn it. It's upstairs. Give me a second. Hey guys. So I'm back and I found my notebook. Um, okay. This is going to be fun. I also got a little chocolate for myself. <laughs> because I went upstairs and the kitchen was right there. Guys. A small break but this is one of my current favorite chocolates it's this awesome godiva it's called godiva masterpieces dark ganache heart and it's cute it is actually a heart Doo -doo. okay i'm gonna keep this aside for now um way aside i'm gonna drink my coffee mm. Okay, so let's get, get into talking about how to be a good, awesome, and super fun podcast host. Let's just use the word podcast itself. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Start with the first alphabet, which is P. So my first learning with the word P is going to be be a pataka. Now, for those of you who don't know what the word pataka means, it essentially means firecracker in Hindi. And when I say be a pataka, what I really mean is that you have to bring some electric energy, charisma, and a little bit of an oomph factor do your podcast when you're a host. You have to really reel your guests in. You have to make them feel like your entire world in that very moment is revolving around them and everything about them is interesting. You're pretty much electrifying, so to speak. So yeah, to begin with, P, be a pataka. Let's go to O. Be open to opinions. Now, what does it mean by being open to opinions? It's very easy to say something like that, but when you start practicing it, is when you realize how tough it really can be. Now, if I feel very strongly about something and I'm in conversation with you and you have a very opposing opinion about the same topic, my immediate reaction might be to get very emotional and react to you. But 
I've learned that that's not the right way to build a communication and build a relationship with anybody and that's especially your podcast host uh, podcast guests in fact you want to talk to people who have as many different opinions as possible as you do because that's what makes for very interesting chemistry between the host and the guest and also it kind of opens up everybody's mind like i don't have to agree with an opinion but I want to I want to understand why the person thinks that way. So that was O. Now let's go to D. This is one of my favorites and that is learn to give a damn. The damn. Now <laughs> I really like this because I thought of this when I was uh, in the shower and I was really struggling with the word D and I was like what could it be and it just popped into my head honestly some of my best ideas i think it's the best come from when i'm not on my desk and i'm roaming around outside and it's been proven that when you are actually doing something else is when your brain starts solving the problems that you're trying to solve anyway more on that later now d which is learn to give a damn now There's a difference between pretending to care about something and actually caring about something and showing interest. And everybody can tell when you're actually interested in something versus when you're just pretending and your surface level just like ha ha okay. Mm, oh wow, very interesting, very cool, but it starts showing. And you don't want that. You want your guests and your audiences to see, to feel and to hear how interested and invested you are that you actually give a damn about the topic and about the guest and what the guest has to say. And this only comes from actually being committed to what you guys are talking about and actually being very very interested in it. So don't talk about stuff that that doesn't excite you. Talk about stuff that you're curious about. um talk to guests about stuff that you find very interesting and you want to know more about because that will naturally show so learn to give a damn <laughs> now let's move to the fourth alphabet which is c c and c stands for communication communication and more communication now this sounds simple in co- in theory but it's actually quite hard how many times have you spoken to somebody and have seen them zone out or how many times have you zoned out yourself it has happened to me as well i'm not going to lie and i've begun to try very hard to be present in the moment it is so hard and i just blame i just blame social media for it <laughs> let's move on to a a stands for ask a thousand questions now i don't mean just keep asking questions randomly with no meaning what i mean is that ask yourself questions first when you're planning an episode and when you're going to be talking to a guest or if you're doing a solo podcast ask the questions to yourself like what do i want to achieve out of this what is my goal what is my mood what is my theme and what is my vibe and what is the biggest value or what is the value for your listener and the second way to think of asking questions is planning your questions well in advance to actually talking to your guest now when you plan your questions out when you have a plan of action you are prepared if something unexpected happens now for some people it might actually work to not plan the questions in advance and just kind of think on the spot and that's amazing but that often doesn't work for me very well because sometimes i've had a conversation and i'm thinking about it later and i always 
have this instant regret that oh i should have asked this oh why didn't i cover this so i learned from my mistakes in my first two or first three podcast recordings and uh, i realized that i have to plan plan and plan like crazy so that i'm prepared for anything and planning actually helped me ask better questions and continues to like i have so much information already about the topic and the guest that my questions are better my conversation is better and honestly the guest really appreciates it when you ask them informed questions now let's move on to s it works now s stands for staying informed now when i say staying informed it means staying informed of what's happening in of course the world around you what's happening on social media and especially what's happening in the topic that you're talking about very very important because when you are informed you have a lot more information to have much more interesting conversations so super important and it's a lot of hard work sometimes i slip as well staying informed about everything because there is so much going on and there is so much out there but yeah i try now we have run through p o d c a s and now we are on to t t okay this is my favorite practice talking guys you have no idea how important this is practice talking in the mirror practice talking to your phone practice talking while you're walking around practice talking while you're doing the laundry practice talking while you're cooking now when you practice talking enough you will start seeing patterns in the way that you talk and you will be able to decipher what you like what you dislike what works and what doesn't work and then you can slowly work on that plus the talking also kind of prepares you for actually having conversations now i hope you enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed working on this and i hope to see you again and i'm going to go back to I should drink my coffee more and talk, right? Mm. Oh my god, I never I didn't finish my chocolate. Mm, okay. Mm. What is this? Mm. You guys can see it, can you? It's not focusing. Mm. So good. Let's go say hi to Nori. Nori. almost fell. Hurry. Hey, what's happening? Do you want to come downstairs? <laughs>